What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video and today we are doing a little bit of river fishing. So we're gonna uh, get our lines wet and hopefully catch some trout here in this beautiful little stream. So uh, right now I'm just at this current and it drops off to a little bit deeper water. So I'm gonna cast that and hope to catch some. So stay tuned. Alrighty, so all I'm using for bait is like one of these little spinners. And I have, uh, I took a piece off of a Canadian crawler. I'm just going to hook him here. Get him on here pretty good. And then once you get it done, we're just gonna cast in the current. So there it is on there. Now we're just gonna cast out in the current. Alrighty, so I'm on my next spot. I've just been working up the river a little bit and uh, trying to find me, so hopefully I can get some. Alrighty guys, so I've spotted him. What looks to be a rainbow trout in a little deep hole here, so I'm gonna try to catch him. Alrighty, so I have a nice big juicy worm on him. I'm gonna try to catch him. So I see a bunch of them. But I think the problem is that it's sinking too fast. So I've attached a little bobber. So we will see if the bobber trick will work the magic and get these fish to bite. We have a bunch more worm on. You can see the drift will entice that. We're going to go by the head. It's got a nice rainbow swirl on. Nice rainbow. Nice rainbow. Beauty rainbow. Beauty rainbow, dude. Beautiful rainbow trout. Holy mackerel, that's a beauty rainbow. I got, oh, folks. Look at that rainbow trout. A beautiful rainbow trout. All this work and I call a beauty rainbow. Oh, yes, dude. I'll, I'll, I'll get you guys a better look when I got, got him controlled. Alrighty. I hooked him perfect right in the top. He's unhooked now. 
What a beauty rainbow. Just look at the spots on him. And then that uh, rainbow color right there. This side's pretty. Getting pretty good. But there's a beauty rainbow. Uh, this guy's going on the strainer. So cook him up. Alrighty, folks. I'm here. I killed the rainbow so I can eat him. But again, just look at that beauty of a fish. It's a pretty nice rainbow for a little river like this. I just love the dots on him. Uh, I will show you guys a better look when we're in like more lighting, but overall, a beautiful fish. Let's keep fishing and try to catch another one. They are all over it right now. Oh. Oh, I missed him. Alrighty, we have a little bit more worm on here. It's a new worm. We're gonna toss it back out there. See if we can catch another. There's, yeah, there's that a bite, there's that a bite. Alrighty folks, here is the beautiful rainbow. Just look at the nice pink stripe that runs down it and all the cool dots on that. This is a beautiful rainbow trout. It's a pretty big one actually for a little river. So really cool, we're gonna clean this guy up and then I'll see you all tomorrow when we're gonna cook this bad boy right up. Alrighty guys, so we are back home, ready to cook up this amazing rainbow trout. And so I'm gonna walk you through the steps of how I, um, uh, I'm gonna prepare it and cook it. So stay tuned. Alrighty, so our first step is to preheat the oven. 350 is perfect. And so we're gonna start that right up. Alrighty, so now it's time to prepare our fish. So here we have the rainbow trout that we caught. And I cleaned it by cutting the head off and taking all the guts out, as you can see. Just like that. Uh, so I'm gonna go back through, rinse it a little bit more inside here to make sure that it's all nice and clean. And then we'll get to what I call stuffing it. Alrighty, so now it's time for the stuffing process. So for this, I have a few lemons chopped up into little slices. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place some inside the crevice of this fish. So just place them in there. Put a few. Also take some of the juices out. Get some lemon juice. Now this is really good if you like a little bit of lemon flavor in your fish. So there's that step. And then I also have one more that I can just squeeze on the skin of the fish. Just moisturize it just there. And now we'll move on to the chives. Now for the chives, I'm just gonna cut them up into small pieces. Just like this. Just chop them up nice little pieces. So, uh, that'll be done in around three seconds. Three, two, one. And there we go. All of the chives are cut up. So we're just gonna take some of these and we're going to put them in the crevice with some of the lemons just to give it a little bit more flavor. So, there we go. Just place it in here with the lemons. And I've never tried this recipe, so we're gonna see how it works and you guys are gonna stay, uh, hopefully stay tuned and go through this adventure with me. Alrighty, so now we have like this uh, little pan with some tin foil on it. We're actually gonna transfer the fish onto here. 
Okay, make sure that all these lemon, chives, and crevasse, just like that, and place them on here. And then we'll do a little bit more seasoning. Alrighty, so now we have the fish on the pan. And I have some Cormac Perfect Pinch Lemon Pepper seasoning. Just gonna go through on the top of it. Just season the skin a little bit. Pat this in nicely on the skin. I hope this turns out well. Uh, not sure, never tried this recipe. And again, I'm just gonna get some of this little seasoning and put it on inside the crevice and with all the other little ingredients. And there we go, that should be ready. Now we just gotta wait for the oven to be done preheating. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so we have the fish all cooked up. It's actually cool because the fish flakes right off of the bone. So you can actually see the bone there. And if once you pull that off, like this, this piece of meat right here should be pretty like boneless because we're pulling it off of these bones. There's actually some that go up in it. You might be able to see them right in there. But crazy how like you can kind of make it's perfectly cooked because this meat just kind of flakes right off the the bones and stuff so uh, I'll get back to you guys when I want to try a piece of it alrighty so we have this beautiful piece of rainbow trout I'm going to try this it's actually really good damn that piece is boneless because that was that was actually one of the pieces that we that we could pull off the off the, all the bones and this piece too. And it's actually really good. Now, like I said a little bit ago, earlier in the video, I literally just winged this recipe. Um, I had no clue really how to do it. Um, I knew a little bit about like how to like put stuff in where you take all the guts out like lemons and stuff. But I thought chives would work too and they actually worked good. And then you had that perfect pitch seasoning which just added uh, to the whole thing. So overall, a great piece of fish. I suggest you try the recipe that I use. Just lemons, chives, and some perfect pinch um, by McCormick. It's just uh, lemon pepper. So that worked great. That's all you need for success. And go out there to the rivers near you and catch some trout. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. And I'll catch you next time. See ya.